just walking from the campsite at uh, Habit House Farm. Got all the camper vans set up. We're going to have a look at uh, Mally and Spout Waterfall and then nip down to Beck Hall for a couple of pants to see Neil and Glynis in the Birch Inn and have a wander back across the top of the moor, I think. Probably have an afternoon siesta. Get the wood burning stove going later on. Cook a pizza, have a beer, watch a film, and then see what the weather brings tomorrow. Might take Louis for a run on the beach, go to Sands End, or even Runswick Bay. It's a lovely day now. Just come out the path, back of the campsite, and it brings you out at the other end of Gothland. This is a path that goes down to the Malian Spout Hotel, which you can see there. And the path we'll be taking is just down the side. And this is the gate you come through, past that lovely house. Come on then, Louis. It's turned out to be another lovely, lovely sunny day. Let's look at that countryside behind us. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. This is the old railway line run now from uh, Beck Hall to Gromont. I was going to go straight to the pub but there seems to be a coach party in at the moment so I thought I'd uh, have a wander down here with Louis since it's a nice day and then uh, go to the pub on the way back. Yet another beautiful spot. I reckon if you come later in the afternoon or slightly out of season this would be an ideal spot for a wild camp next to the river. As long as there was no flooding forecast I think you'd be okay. 
plenty of plenty of flat area as long as you've got a good firm arrest or something for your bed. How beautiful is this? Just look at that. Stunning. And of course the other way. Absolutely beautiful. Here we are on yet another bridge. There's Louis. And look at that behind me. Brown from all the peat I would imagine. But there's got to be some trout in there. The other landlord at Birch Inn reckons there's trout in there. And if you're local or back onto the river you have fishing rights there apparently.